All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Star Tropics. So last time I just beaten the boss, I had saved the um, little dolphin buddy down there. You can see him hanging out by the submarine. And I'm gonna hop in there and see what happens now. Quee 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 quee. All right, these guys uh, need a translator. Nav come here, Captain. He is the boy dolphin. He is thanking us for saving him. Let's signal his mother. <laughs> oh, wow, she just popped up. Quee 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 quee. We'll never forget your kindness. Now we must help you. Please follow me. Quee 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 quee. Please follow me. Oh, and off he goes. And there we go. We're freed from the weird island. We'll never forget your kindness. Good luck. Oh. All right. There we go. Storm and calm. Suddenly it gets dark and stormy on the ocean. The sea tosses subsea. <gasps> oh, my submarine got smashed on those rocks. That's terrible. You awaken to find Subsea was wrecked in the storm. It's always strangely calm after a storm. From now on, you have to walk. Till we find some other large vehicle, I suppose. Okay, well, here we are in one of these little map sections again. Back in the day, this is actually kind of interesting, because back in the day here, you can see um, the difference between the grass with the trees and these little cliffs here. And it's visually very apparent this is a cliff, right? That this, these um, trees are up on a ledge, just because the, the cliff is dark and the, the top is bright. But the, uh, the expectation of the standard here, you know, those cliffs are not very detailed. <laughs> And now I have the choice to go to this little town or keep going. My meta knowledge of games says that means we're probably going to have to come back here. So, yeah, there's a little house. Is that a snake? Or is it a guy? You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. You drink it and feel much better. Oh, okay. Go to Miracola and find help for your wrecked ship. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so he healed me. And it sounds like we are going to have to go back there to find help for the wrecked ship. Oh boy, a hole! Alright, here we go, next dungeon I guess. Oh, is that birds? They're little birds. Ah. Wow, they run really randomly. I guess I have to kind of avoid them. Or kind of like wait a little distance away. Similar um, strategy coming throughout here. These guys are going to charge me though, I think. Okay, there's a start. Bolas. Oh, I just realized I can get there from that that button that I hit. Okay. Should I try those out? I guess I should try them out, eh? Goes all the way across the screen. That's a good start. Are those monkeys? They are flying monkeys. Ah, he's got a little butt. <laughs> they got little butts and wings. Come on, monkey. There you go. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. So when I'm playing this, I've actually come back after a break, um, and 
I remember the, the music was just starting to grate on my nerves a little bit, but, you know, when I'm listening to it coming back after a couple of days, um, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. More bolas, more... S oh, nasty. I don't think there was anything I could have done differently there, but... Unless I had a baseball bat, but I don't. Let's see if I got another option. Cool. Okay. So... Oh! Wow, that was bad. Not fair, guys. That was not fair at all. game. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, so the music is actually kind of catchy coming back. I'm just gonna die. Come here, bird. And that woman's gonna be angry at me. Yeah. You failed again, boy. What have I done? Alright. Oh, and I got a star. So those birds are charging me angrily when I uh, head towards them there. Yeah, no fancy tiles. I think there's like, what, five different types of tiles on the screen? But so much depth is gained by... Oh! Wow, that monkey ripped me up. Ah, oh, he got me again! Let's see if I can get some health from these guys. Not a bit. And, I mean, I don't think I can get past this screen here. I don't think I can pass that with one health. Because if I run it in the middle there, the uh, those snakes are going to get me for sure. There's nothing you can do, you're just automatically going to hit by the snakes. This time. So much of this is like waiting for an enemy to jump to the right location, and then there's a randomized, like this stupid monkey that just hit me because he randomized to the other direction that I didn't think he was going to. Come on. There we go. RNG, RNG. There we go. Stand here, wait for the monkeys to show up in front of my yo yo. Can I walk in there? No, I can't. Oh, Mike Jones got the moves. Okay, what do I do here now? I gotta jump to the middle and then left or right, and then hop to back across there, I guess. Ooh. 
Oh. And I'm full on health. Good stuff, guys. Oh my goodness, there are skeleton. I'm gonna stay on this side of the. Oh my god, it jumps over the water. Get away, get away! Ah! Run from that thing! That's. <laughs> that is nightmare fuel. Another bird is chasing me too. Oh. I see why they gave me full hit points. <laughs> that was obscene. <clears throat> yeah. This one's running away, I don't know why. Okay. I just I'm 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 thinking there must be like secrets in here, like there must be a empty wall to go through or something, but doesn't look like it, I guess. I'll just keep going. Da -da 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 -da. Oh dear. Okay. Come on, bat. Let's see it. Let's see if you're batty enough. Oh. Uh. Wow, that's fun. What a cool game, guys. <laughs> Here's a pitch black room. Good luck. <laughs> oh, and all the way back to the beginning. That is cruel. Like, why would you do that? So anything that was nice about the first two levels has just like totally gone out the window at this point. It's like, no, we're gonna just screw with you every way that we can. I'm sure they've saved a couple of really nasty tricks for later, but... I mean, that was just not fair. <laughs> Replay value, that's what that is. <laughs> I'd say that's hard replay value. It's not like the difference between hard replay and soft replay is in hard you have to do it. You have to do it more than one time to know what the hell's going on. Like that. Oh, and I have to actually beat those snakes down too. I did this last time, but go check. Whew. Okay. Go, Mike, go. All right. Run. Get those other little birds out of the way. Yeah. Only one one damage or one and a half damage. Okay. So this time I remember where the uh little thingies are there. So I have to go here, go all the way left, and then one this way, and then I can jump up here. No. No, there was... There was a thing there. Don't despair, Mike. Yeah. So I could have sworn there was a tile there that I could jump to, but I guess I made some kind of a calculation error. Getting pro with these monkeys now, though. Ok, 
catchy. Got three stars. I don't know if that's gonna give me another star. Ooh. This one is the same way. It's kind of one of those things where you know, like, if you had to do this one time and you only had one time, oh, and you talked in the middle of it, then you knew you were going to screw up. This game is just so punishing. <laughs> it's not even, like, hard. It's just, like, how do you even control that one pixel difference, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. Some of it feels unfair. I guess anything with, like, actual randomness or, like, you know, like these dodo birds that are wandering around here. <coughs> it's kind of, it feels unfair until he starts charging and then you know it's actually doing something intentionally. Monkey, 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 rum, rum. Ah! Oh wow, I charged him and yo-yoed at the same time. <laughs> Got him. Just in the nick of time there. Oh, is that... I think I got a star and it healed me. Interesting. Yeah, there we go. Now it's the good room. Uh, I'm gonna ignore those big birds up there. Oh, maybe I can uh, hang out at the bottom here. Avoid them completely. Nope. Wow. Okay, so it was two back. I'm gonna try to go this way and see what I got. Oh, there's a way out there. Oh, and I have to kill those bats again. So I went all the way this way. One, two. Let's try it that way. <gasps> Why are you going this way, Mike? There's a staircase back there. But treasure. Get. Get back here. You little turkey. I think his one left foot is probably going to be pretty tired by the end of this, stomping all those uh, foot panels just with one foot. And again, he is wearing shoes and somehow the foot panel is showing up. Ah, oh, the monkey got me. Uh, I think I'm going to run out of continues. <laughs> I wonder, does she do that? Does she uh, eliminate any chances? No. Okay, well I'm back at the beginning here now.
Oh yeah. Two perfect rooms, let's not jinx the monkeys. Got a star. I'll admit, those monkey sprites are pretty cute. Even though they're a blatant ripoff from Wizard of Oz. But then so much of this game is like that. It's like weird Americana stuff. Indiana Jones and Mike Jones, the pitcher. I don't know. I don't know if there was a pitcher named Mike Jones, but it seems like a very uh, American land name, you know? Guy with uh, two first names. There we go. Okay, uh, and I want to kill these. Oh, almost. Oh, the blue one's got my number. It's after me. It just latched on, chased me. That was scary. Okay, so this is the bad bat room. Uh, I don't think there's any benefit in killing these bats. I think they're just annoying. And I mean, I suppose if I were to jump across a gap or something, say, and the bat was there, it would probably knock me out. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go back to this part here. One, two. Oh! Oh! Wow. I wish I'd known that the first time through. <clears throat> Thanks, game, for informing me that there's a light switch. Oh, wow. There was a staircase over there. I want to go back out, guys. I missed something. Again. Again, I've missed something. Wow, you've done it. Yeah, I guess. I wonder, can I go back in there? No, I cannot. Rats. And the next village. Oh, pfft. Thanks, fat guy. Welcome to Miracola. Hi, I am a brave sailor too. Can I go with you? You almost died at sea. Uh, or, uh, I'm getting seasick. I'd better stay. Americola? Where do you come from? I'm so worried. Bananet has been sick for so long. Okay. I feel like I'm missing parts of the village. I'm Miss Mira, 1990. You met Miss Coral? Uh, tell me which of us is best. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Our chief loves his daughter very much, but alas, she's very sick. Oh, and I can't jump over there to help her. Okay, too bad. I guess I'll leave town and look for parts for my submarine somewhere else. Bye. There's a guy up in the bushes up here. What are you doing up there? Okay. That's what I assumed. Oh, there's another guy down there. It looks like he's got a... Kind of like a funny haircut going on. Do you know about the castle of Shea-Cola? Better not go there. Well, of course I'm going there. You're not cool unless you go to Shea-Cola. Oh look, milk. I like milk. You look tired. Here, drink some coconut milk. You drink it and feel much better. 
Sure, you're better today. Oh, you're so honest and cute. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Oh, wow, there was a shortcut there. That was that. <laughs> that, now see, I think that in some circumstances that's good design. I think in this particular case, it's like, why would you bother keeping that there? Little sneaky shortcut. Uh, I don't know, I guess stuff like that is good for speedrunners, though. You may enter. Uh, what if I don't want to enter? Oh wow, it's a super room. Oh, and there's a thing up there too. Now I gotta go all the way back around? I'm just hanging out. He is the chief of Miracola. I am Chief Miracola. Mike, I've heard of your courageous adventure. Please, can you help me? One year ago, many shooting stars appeared in the sky and suddenly dreadful lightning flashed. Since that night, my dear Bananette has slept and she will not awake. Please help my daughter. She's upstairs. Some say a mountain hermit lives who has healing spells. You must find him. Please help my daughter and I'll fix your wrecked ship. That sounds like a hostage situation, dude. That's not cool. You're like, uh, saying you're not gonna help me unless I help you. Uh-huh, okay. I guess instead of walking all the way through those, wo those woods now, I can just kind of sneak around back to the other side where I probably could have gone in the first place. Oh, it's the brave sailor. He's not really so brave. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Okay, there we are. Bananet is sick in bed. Oh, you're Mike. Okay. I'm so worried Bananet has been sick for so long. She's just sleeping, guys. She'll be fine. Actually, I really like the music in this town, too. It's pretty good. I think the, um, the healer who's gonna fix everything is the guy who's shaken up in the woods here. Uh, wrong way. the healer who has magic spells. Good luck! Oh, I was hoping that you were gonna solve all the problems, dude. What are you doing? Sitting in the woods. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's an evil mountain over there. Oh no, guys. Oh, okay. Onwards. Got one more here. I hope it's not... Oh, uh, yeah, that's gross. Um... Okay. I suppose I didn't even have to kill those, did I? Maybe they're gonna give me something. Nope. I could have just ran right through that whole room. Oh, and it's nasty chicken ghosts. I don't know what else to do with these guys, but just run right into them. I had the yo-yo, so I couldn't really, like, do much else. Oh. Oh, that's... Oh, ah, it's really sneaky. <sighs> D 
dare I? Oh, yeah, I knew it was coming. I don't think I could have done anything else, though. Same scenario here, like, how am I going to avoid these guys enough to deal damage and... Oh. Okay. Mm There's a strategy there. And it's teaching you something, actually. That's what's going on here, is I'm, I'm learning how to deal with this situation, right? So I know that that snake is going to come this way. Um, can I potentially do... Th no, I cannot. <laughs> uh... Oh, that was a bad choice. <laughs> that was the worst choice. <laughs> Yeah, that same woman is like, come on, man, what are you doing? <laughs> Just inviting the snakes to come and eat your brains. <laughs> okay. Uh, boing, up one jump, up one jump. There we go. Snakes every friggin' place. Oh, no, that was not the way... <clears throat> okay, got that one. Da 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 da. And I gotta go left one more to deal with these bad snakes. See if I can go this way. Oh, sneaky game, what are you doing? Oh wow, there's new toys over there. Uh, that guy's gonna come really close, okay. Oh, and there's the light. Great. Got a slingshot. That's new. Um, do I dare? I dare. Today I dare. Oh yeah, got me some health. What's this one do? Nothing. I'm just gonna keep on. See you later, Dark Room. Oh, those are nasty. Oh, yeah, no. I can't even fight those. Not if he's charging me like that. Oh, okay. So I, I actually have to be um, on a direct diagonal path from those, and then they charge. Wow, this is complicated. Um, okay. I gotta try the other side too, just for giggles. Oh, and it gives me some health. Thank you, game. That's scary. <gasps> Is that lava? I'm going down into the bowels of the earth. Oh no, guys. Uh, not liking that. Okay, let's do it. Oh. The heck was that? Oh, it was lives.
Okay. Just gotta keep running around the fire thing in the middle. And it's boss time. Oh, it's not. Wow, that uh, boomerang. Totally useless. He just charged right past. I thought that guy was going to stop. Ugh. Annoying B, what are you doing? Uh, I wonder if I get to keep this. Nope. Super tempted to just, like, knock all these out just to see what it does, but I don't think that there's anything here. No. Run across. Forget that jump jump stuff. <gasps> oh, I gotta try that one, guys. Nothing. How oh, mean. This one? Oh, yeah. Madness. Oh, not fair. I just gotta kill that bee, because otherwise he's gonna screw me up when I get around the edge. <gasps> There's a door? Oh my goodness, this is just so confusing. And if I kill those bees, it's not gonna do me any good. Ow. Ouch. Ow! That was entirely unfair! Oh, I just slowed them down. Oh, and now they're back to normal. Wow, that was a lame power-up. Okay, I remember this room enough. star and I think the only benefit for going this way was the health that when I got this far over here it gave me a, a health I'm just gonna take that and head back see what I can do with a oh we got some bolas oh and I'm missing my um Missing my uh, baseball bat and slingshot. Because I just randomly ran through and died. Oh my god, it's lava, guys. Nope. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that, then. Really quickly, I guess. Out to good ignoring the lava man. Harsh. Yep. 
I know, you hate me, old woman. You got your skull and your stick and your baguette that you're eating or cigar you're smoking or whatever the heck that is. Oh, painful. Dark room one. Going this way. Gonna jump up here and kill those other snakes. Well, at least this way I got my baseball bat and my slingshot back. I don't think there's anything down... Oh yeah, wait, there was health in here, wasn't there? That's what it was. And I have one extra health, so I'm gonna try and save that and see what happens. Might be good enough. Alright, Pokey just came into the room. Okay, so down here... Those cheesy bees going on. Just gonna oh, nice try. Keep on. I wonder how I could do that differently in such a way where I uh, don't die when I jump across that cliff there or that pit. Two, three, four, five. Cool, okay. So the trick with those guys is actually that you can hit them exactly five times before they uh, cross the water. Mm, all the way over is bad, but here is okay. Kept thinking I was hitting the boss last time there every time I was in a new room, but I guess that was just because it was getting a little crazy. I really wonder what I missed in that um, that other chamber. There was that one area in that... Oh, those guys both bit me. There was that one chamber in the, um, the last dungeon where I had... Um, I had missed a staircase that was an up staircase. Okay. See, I, I jumped as soon as I could there. I don't know. I don't know how else to do that. That was the thing that got me last time, too. It was like, there you are. Technically, there's just a degree of, you know, one pixels or two pixels of, of luck going on. Punishing. Okay. Octa Rock. Light switch, baseball bat, and the slingshot. And I got uh, a little bit extra health this time. I got an extra one single point there. So maybe this is the run. Go, Mike, go! That um, health room music is very similar to uh, the fairy fountain in Zelda, actually. You 
know what? Screw you guys. I hate you. You're not fair. I can't attack you in, in diagonal. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's do one more. Last time. Because the rest of this now I've got down. I can jump past all of the other monsters. I know the tricks. That one stupid thing where there's that water going on. So, uh, lesson here, do not mistake the technical challenges in your game. Whatever that game may be, if there's a technical challenge that you're facing in the game, it's like, you know, okay, if you don't do this, then you die. Um, to take a reference out of my, uh, my younger days, uh... In Dungeons and Dragons, there used to be in second edition. I don't know. I haven't played the more recent ones. In second edition, there was what they called the uh, the saving throw. And basically, what would happen is you would uh, be subject to an attack or some kind of a trap, and uh, immediately what would happen would be your your dungeon master, the storyteller, the game master, whatever you want to call him, um, he would tell you that okay so there was this thing that happened and I need you to make a saving throw and when you made the saving throw it was often referred to as the failing throw if you failed your saving throw like this kind of a scenario here one one bad dice roll and your character died or had some terrible terrible fate so it's it's kind of a, a cop-out oh yeah And I, I really want to cheese that and just save in that room and, you know, save whatever it is. The headache of going through these first five rooms or six rooms or whatever first every single time. I think, um, you know, ethically in this kind of movie or this kind of video, I guess. Um, <coughs> I think there's something to be said for uh, folks who do, you know, make it shorter, they cut out that kind of, like, you know, mm, the imperfect gameplay. Like, I could technically cut that out and, and make it look like I got through on the first try. But... I don't know, this is real. I'm, I'm going through step by step. You guys are, you know, interested in seeing it. I want you to see how difficult and crazy this is, I suppose. And this is like, what, the fourth dungeon or the fifth dungeon or something? They have, like, instant death traps. <laughs> uh, random bee puzzles. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, I got it through. Okay. Let's not mess it up. I want to get my health and get back through. Okay. Yes! Oh. And that's so much more rewarding <laughs> to go through so many times. Ah! <laughs> now watch I jump in the lava and die again and have to do it again. Ah, oh, okay. Dun 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 Oh, I got two extra lives. Okay. Uh, there was a thing. Ow! Okay, and these guys, I'm just going to try and cheese them as hard as I can. Got him. 
Who needs a stopwatch timer thing? Ah, run from the fire guy. There we go. Into the next room. Uh, I know that there's health on this side, so I'm gonna go that way. Sneak back, because I remember dying over there last time. Which was rather unfair. Keep going. I'm gonna ignore the bolas, because I have my trusty baseball gear. <coughs> and it's this again. Try these ones over here. Nothing. And I don't think there was anything on that far one either, so I'm just gonna keep going. I hope there's not like an instant death trap on one of these. This looks like a boss break, guys. <sighs> Am I ready? Yeah, I got some extra health. Got an extra baseball bat or two. Oh my goodness. Uh Wow. Uh Oh, I can't jump there. Wow. I have no idea what to do. I'm trying to hit that thing. It wasn't letting me. Cheese hard. Ah. Come on, guy. I know you can see me. It's hard to be both, uh... Pumba and Timon when you're doing the, the bait there. Boink. I like how this this particular screen, that last screen there, it was uh, teaching you to... Oh no. Um, it was teaching you to uh, dodge the fireballs <laughs> for the boss that's coming up. Um, I guess I have to get these bolas. I don't see any other way that I could have hit that guy back there. I'm gonna be a master of the, the kung fu over here, okay. Switch over just cuz, see if I can start shooting him right away. Nope. I cannot hit that guy. Okay. guys are not seeing me. I guess... Oh, interesting. They have a... Um... Oh, no. I spoke too soon. I made an assumption and got hit and died. Wow. I thought they, they only had a downward-facing uh, detector, but that's not the case, apparently. Sorry if you guys can hear a power drill. There's uh, some work going on in my building. Okay, so I'm just gonna sneak off this way right away. 
Jump over fire guy, grab my health. Not jump in the in evil, nasty fire death pit up there. Get my bolas. And keep jumping. Jump, 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 jump. Nope. That's it. That's it. First two times through, I did it perfectly fine. No, no dice that time. Yeah, I can't. I can't continue on this one this time, guys. It's just too much. Uh, I will pick it up. Um, I might do a couple of practice runs from this point, but uh, I will definitely record and let you see if I do manage to get through. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying me dying a hundred thousand times. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.